Hello YouTube, now today I'm going to be showing you how to use Action Essentials 2 in After Effects. Now to get started, simply open up After Effects and drag your footage into the project board. And once you have it into the project board, go ahead and drag it into this right here. It's highlighted, no it's not highlighted, drop it into there. The reason why I made sure y'all knew what it was because my tutorial on my energy ball movie. But you can go ahead and click the link to that. I'll put it in the description or click that right there. Anyways, someone was like, what little box thing? So I'll have to explain it to them. The new composition box. So anyways, after you do that, decide on where you want. I kind of messed up. Look, I went down and went back up like, oh, no, I'm not going to shoot the window. I was like, okay, come on, man up. Man up. I bust a cap in that window. Anyway, so let's make it look real though. So right now, all it looks like is I'm pretending to shoot a gun. And that's not really all that impressive. So, anyways, get to the frame where you want to. Right there is kind of when the um, recoil kicks in, but now we got that our effect. So, right here, I have my action controls 2 folder. Um, it's on disc to side A is where your muzzle flashes will be. So you just put in disc two on side A. I have all my stuff copied. If, if you do have this, or if you're planning on getting it, if you're planning on getting it, why don't you have it? Get it. It's an awesome program. It's only like a hundred dollars. You'll be able to do stuff from explosions, bullet hits, ground hits, um, welds. Like when if you pretend to weld something, that sparks fly out. It's just incredible. Anyways, you know what? If y'all want me to, I will show you. Post in the comments if you would like me to show you a lightsaber hitting a metal pole and sparks flying everywhere. I will do that, but you have to post in the comments. Yeah, I want you to do the spark tutorial. Just tell me, or I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Anyways, get back on the subject. Earlier, I found muzzle flash number five. It's really good for pistols. I'll show you that again. A really nice size for pistols, right there. And that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna use. If you're using a pistol, use that one, but don't use it over and over and over again because every muzzle flash needs to be unique in its own way. If you overuse it, people are like, eh, you overused it. It's not gonna look good. Anyway, so it puts at the beginning. It should put it where your ticker is, but it's not doesn't do that. So just align it where your thing is. Not too too hard. And then just size it down, size it up, whatever you need. Mine needs to be sized down. You know, adjust it. If you need to rotate it, click the rotate tool. Uh, you know, shooting someone. In the face, you know, like underneath your chin. <laughs> I might actually do it that for in my movies. You know, if you want a tutorial on how to shoot someone in the chin and blood squirt up out of their face, post a comment. I will do whatever tutorial I want me to do. I'm really excited about doing tutorials, and I'll do whatever. And I thought it looks pretty decent. Let's click this one on the box. Right? The bad thing is. Oh. Yeah, I think it's a little off first. So first I also want to adjust this. A little bit down here. Down. Yeah, I just watched it a couple times. Yeah, it looks much better to me. No, I mean like, it's a, it's a muzzle flash. Where's the flash? Well, there's the flash, but there should be some light. What we're going to do is we're going to make a new solid. So you're going to go to Layer, New, Solid, or if you're on a Mac, it's Command Y. So make an orange solid, you know, kind of light colored, like that. Make comp size, click OK. Toggle the little eye off of it, and um, you're going to use this little pen tool right here. And we're going to mask out the areas. That's what it's called, in case you didn't know. Some people are beginners, 
I don't care if you know what masking is. Some people are beginners and they need to know like the techniques. So anyways, if you don't know what this is, this is called masking. Now masking is whenever you want to get rid of something or add something. In this case, we're adding a flash. So, um, if you toggle back on, that doesn't look good. But we will fix that. Then the gun in itself will have some flash to it. So, there you go, you can adjust it like by grabbing these points. Just like that. And then you can go to your masks. I like highlighting both of mine, you know, knock out two birds with one stone. And turn the opacity down just a hair. And then feather it out a lot. And if you want to, put something masking on the three. But who cares? You can have one right there. Add another one right here. You can make this place light up like fireworks, Jack. So highlight those two by holding on command or control. And just feather it out. Oh, for some reason that one's not working. Oh, well, since it's all the way up here, don't feather it like that. Feather it like that. And for mask number four. This can be a little bit harder because it's kind of by the flash. Awesome. Flick it without the lines. That looks pretty good. Now look. Pathetic. It's staying there. It's going to be through there the entire movie. Well, we can fix that. Go into this. Now, you, you could either do it the hard way. And go into every mask. And do this. Or you can do the smart way and go to transform. And keep from opacity. Go back a frame. And... Turn it to zero percent right here. So it cuts on at the right time, and it also needs to turn on at the right time and turn back off at the right time. So that soft turns on, turn off. So that it looks really nice. Um, now, um, you like I said, you can do a stupid way and go into the mask. Oh, each mask do it individually. But here's the thing about masking: if you have like 20 masks, you don't want to go in there and tell them each to turn on at the same time. If you can have all of them turn on at the same time, just go ahead and go into transform and do that. So, anyways, let's watch one more time. It looks pretty nice to me. One thing I just want to do real fast is the feathering. It looks too bold, to my opinion. So I'm actually going to feather a lot of this out a little more. You know, play around with it. It takes a lot of playing around with to make it look real. I mean, like, you can't sit down and do a muzzle flash in three seconds. And be like, okay, I'm done. If you want it to look nice. Yeah, let's put some time with it. Oh okay, yeah, that looks a lot better, except for mask number three, this area right here. That one needs to be feathered off. There we go, let's watch it. Gun ready, fire. Fire. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like it a lot. So, looks pretty nice. I like it. Now, um, if you're on a Windows, use Windows Movie Maker to, um, add your sound effects. I don't like adding sound effects in After Effects. I do that in this guy right here, iMovie. Um, it's simple, really. All you have to do, you should know how to use iMovie because that probably was your first one to use before you went to After Effects. This actually comes with sound effects in it, which is awesome. Some of those sound effects. Let's see here, there's I think this mod gun. I can find it. Gun load, big gun. Okay, I'll show you a big gun. Oh well, there is a small gun. I know there is. It's making me mad. Oh, small gun shot. Here we go. Should know this alphabetical. I'll turn this up so y'all can hear it. Anyway, so you know, little pistol. 
Or not big guns. Like a rifle? Hey! Yeah, you got a bolt action with that crud. Anyways, and then you have shell pops out of there. Then he's like, wanna get the crud out of someone? Mm. So, um, yeah, you can the sound effects, tutorials. Um, the thing is, like, oh yeah, we'll give you these two tutorials for free. Then you have to start paying for them. That's the only thing. Anyways, if you want to know how to use explosions, just um, click the link right here. Go and check out the explosion video. And um, y'all have a great day.